Well, that's the reason why it's a true covered bridge. It's not got a concrete slab or anything that's supporting it. It's for, supported on both ends. Yes, it's a true covered bridge, authentic in most every way, but a blend of the old and the new technology. Basically, they've done the same thing. They built a lot of them on the ground. In this place here, they would have had a wooden trundle mm -hmm. instead of a bolt. Sonny Rogers built the bridge over a five-year period adjacent to this site just outside of Nashville and then moved the bridge with a band of his faithful volunteers over the holler. Sonny had studied other bridges, then built a miniature model, then created a complex infrastructure that could support six tons. It really worked. You need the crown in it. A lot of people wouldn't, would have made the thing flat, and if you'll notice, it's got, a, got eight inches of crown in it. And as long as we can maintain a crown in it, it ought to stay up. He wanted it to look authentic. No, nope. a standard. No. no, it's on a long truss design, but I'm, this is my own design because it, theirs is different altogether. But it still looks, if you walked in a, one that had a long truss, it would look similar to that. Right. Sonny worked hard to make the bridge look old. The front of it has got one doorway that's a little bit off, so it looks like it's on purpose. on purpose. It was put in there on purpose. The bridge is perfect in so many ways, but there is one minor flaw the bridge doesn't go over any water. Well, not much water, but these are minor details. What are you most proud of? <laughs> oh, I really don't know. I guess, <laughs> I guess that it actually worked. <laughs> I'm a little nervous. <laughs> I'm Dick Wolfsey for Daily.